Hello everybody, this is Napa Fan here, and this is race number three in NRLA USF 2000. We are already rolling off because we are here at the longest racetrack we are going to all season, the Road America. I don't know why I say the Road America, it's just Road America, but a three lap race around this four mile road course in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. And the 10 drivers here in Enerloe USF 2000 are ready to get this one started. Coming into today's race, Derek Hamill, our last winner here in this series who won at Lime Rock, holds a 7-point lead ahead of Nick Smith. Cody Sill, 19 points behind. Then it's Dale Salzman, Emerson Sheets, both 20 points behind coming into today's race. Dale Salzman starts on the pole in the number 19 alongside him. It's the number 67 of Aiden Shepard. The starting lineup rolling on the bottom of your screen for this one. That's row number one. Row number two sees the number 38 of Brad Stover starting alongside the number 18 of John Andrews. Nick Smith, the Riverside winner, starting alongside the 77 of Dane Cooper. Row number four, it's the number 15 of Derek Hamill, the last winner here and the points leader in the enter of the way, USF 2000. Adam, the number 98 of Emerson Sheets. And in the final row, it's number four of Cody Sill, number seven of Marty Johnson. Still got a little ways to go before we get to the green flag here at Road America in the third race of the season of USF 2000. And uh, one thing I would like to note is that I, record these, I recorded these races before I started any of the other series, so you're not going to hear me mentioning I said this in prior races, too. You're not going to hear me mentioning anything about the Indy Lights or IndyCar series and how those series are going because I don't know how they're going yet. I'm getting USF 2000 knocked out of the way before I start Indy Lights and IndyCar because I wasn't originally going to have this series. And uh, I just kind of want to get it out of the way so I don't really have to think about it while I'm actually doing the things that I originally planned on doing. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that the action is definitely very high in those other two series. Indy Lights is not here for this race weekend at Road America, but the Indy Car Series will be here for a 10-lap race, I do believe, tomorrow for the Kohler Grand Prix at Road America. And one thing I forgot to mention in the past two races is that the pole position driver grabs a bonus point. So Dale Salzman is going to grab one point towards the championship for this one. And uh, that goes for the number 18 of John Andrews, who won the pole at Riverside, and the number 15 of Derek Hamill, who won the pole at Lime Rock. So both of those guys are going to be bonus points. Of course, you guys had already seen that in the um, points at the end of these uh, prior two races of this series. But uh, I did not mention that in the first two races of the season, so now you know. But anyways, Dale Salzman, Aiden Shepard are going to... Bring him to the green flag here at the Road America, Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin. The longest road course we're going to this season. Longest racetrack we're going to. And it's only a three-lap race because of that here at this racetrack. But it's going to be a pretty competitive one, I do believe. I have the strength set up to 110%. And that could definitely... Um, Caused some very interesting excitement in this race. The pace car has pulled off USF 2000 to enter the way USF 2000. Ready to get their third race started of the season. They're coming up the hill and they're going to take the green flag here at Road America. We're green flag racing here in race three of the season in USF 2000. Dale Salzman on the outside lane for the pole. That's where the pole sitter starts at these races. And that means the number 67 of Aiden Shepard's going to have the inside lane through turn one. They're going to remain side by side off the corner. Salzman, he might have the advantage here in the 19. He's going to take it away from the number 67. Shepard's going to stay in second place. The number 77, Dane Cooper's going to take third away from the 18 of John Andrews. They're side by side for third place right now, heading into turn number three. Aiden Shepard right behind the number 19 looking to take the lead away, but it's Dale Salzman, the pole sitter for this race, leading the field in the number 19. Number 18 with the inside lane through turn four. And John Andrews, who has finished last in both races so far this season here in Interloy USF 2000, 
trying to get something to happen in this number 18 car this season. He's still side by side with Dane Cooper through turn five. Entering the carousel, turn number six here at Road America. This number 18 trying to get the advantage. You might want to watch these guys. They're going to be really high on the racetrack through this carousel. And if you remember the Chick-fil-A Cup Series race here back at season number five, Griffin Lynn was going to win that race. And he overshoot the, overshot excuse me, that final corner on the racetrack. And um, gave the win to Tyler Selden, which definitely created a very memorable finale in that series. We could possibly see that here today in this race and in the IndyCar race tomorrow. But uh, it looks like for the first lap of this one, all 10 of these drivers got away with it. We're now single file number 18 of John Anders, able to hold on the third from a hard charging Dane Cooper. And up the hill they go. The first lap's going to be led by Dale Salzman. But Aiden Shepard is right behind him here in the number 67. Now, Road America is not necessarily a place for frequent passing in the Indy cars. When we get the stock cars to come here, they pass a little bit more. But the Indy cars, the PTA physics, don't really allow for too much passing. It's going to make the sports car race here very interesting. And it's going to make the Indy car race here very interesting as well. Both of those series is coming here very shortly. I said the sports car race, the GT Championship race, and the Kubota GT Championship coming here soon. Sometime... I don't know. And like I said, you know, the, by, the, by the time you guys are seeing this race, it was like a month ago when I recorded this. Okay? <laughs> April 9th when I'm recording this. I'm doing this right after we did the sign up, just getting it knocked out so that I don't lose my rhythm with the Indy Lights and the Indy Car Series. I actually kind of want to just, you know, keep those in my mind separately. I want to get this out of the way. And like I said earlier, just get, get it out of the way uh, so I don't have to think about it during those series. Salzman pulling away here from Aiden Shepard right now. Not much passing going on, but uh, we do got a pretty heated battle between Mark... Or, excuse me. <laughs> I almost said Mark Hamill. <laughs> Think about that one for a second. Hamill. You know, that's what I want to say every single time. And uh, it's kind of obvious why. Derek Hamill, number 15, our last winner of a very good battle there with Morty Johnson. You see Cody Sill there trying to gain a position. This is really deep in the field from the last few positions on the racetrack. But anyways, number 19, Dale Sullivan's gonna take the white flag this time by. That's how short this race here is here at Road America. But uh, a long racetrack here, allowing for this short race to happen. Looks like Dane Cooper's gonna try and take a position here on John Andrews. Not able to get to the inside of him. A white flag for Dale Salzman here at Road America looking to grab his third career win on Napa Fan after starting on the pole here in this one. Shepard. It's a little under a second behind the number 19 for the lead, and it does not appear that this number 67 is going to get to this 19. But we've seen some pretty crazy things here at Road America before, and I keep on going back to that Chick fil A Cup Series race in season number five. Brad Stover looking to take a position away from Dane Cooper. We'll see if he can do it there in that number 38. He's right behind this number 77. But he's not quite able to get alongside him, I do believe. That 77 is going to have the run entering turn number four. Salzman still out front. Shepard trying to close in, but it's going to be a very hard thing for that number 67 to do. And enter on the way, USF 2000 going to be halfway through the season after this race. And it looks like the halfway point's going to be won by Dale Salzman in the number 19. He gets through the carousel just fine. And because of that, this number 19 is probably going to go to victory lane. Definitely not one of the more, one of the more exciting races here on this channel. But uh, hey, Dale Salzman's got to be happy about it. Getting his third career win here on this channel. And that's going to be 20 points towards the championship as well. Which means that he's going to close up in the point standings by quite a bit. Came into this race 20 points behind Derek Camel. And he's going to close in probably, um, say, by 18 points. He's going to get two points. He's only going to be two points behind Derek Camel um, exiting this race. Dale Salzman wins at Road America in Enter the Way USF 2000. The number 67 of Aiden Shepard came close there 
He gained about three tenths of a second that last lap. John Andrews, a very strong third place finish for him after finishing last the past two races. Then it was Dane Cooper and Brad Stover, the top five here at Road America. Apologize about the ticker there being a little off, but uh, I guess I really wasn't thinking about that too much. But anyways, Dale Salzman gets the win at Road America in Interlay USF 2000. And uh, the IndyCar race should be a little bit better tomorrow um, as we will have pit stops in that one. And uh, of course, more cars in the field, a little bit more of a competitive field there. A lot more of the experienced drivers. Not to say you guys aren't experienced drivers, but uh, we got the legends of Jesse Turner, Matt Dalio, Garrett Sonor in that series, and uh, they're definitely going to be running around this racetrack very well. Garrett Sonor is a two-time winner here at Road America in the Turkey Hill Series, so he knows his way around this racetrack. We'll see what he does in tomorrow's race in that number 83. But anyways, Dale Saltzman led every single lap here at Road America, and that number 19's got 20 more points towards the championship. And it's going to be interesting to see how the points line up exiting Road America here today. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Congratulations to Dale Solzman, and here are the points for NRLA USF 2000. I will see you guys later.